Welcome back. The White House targeting Putin and big oil for sky-high gasoline prices, not policy. It is the mom-and-pop shops dealing with the fallout. Jeff Flock is live in Philadelphia this morning with that angle. Jeff, good morning to you. You could... You could be one of those mom and pops, Maria. I got a gas station for you here in the Philadelphia suburbs. This is for lease, could be yours. Most of the stations in the U.S. are leased, by the way. Take a look at the president's tweet. He famously tweeted, when oil prices go down, gas prices go down, suggesting oil price, oil price uh, company, oil companies control gas prices. Take a look at this number, Mythbuster number one. Only 5% of the stations, of the 150,000 stations in the country, are controlled by big oil. Mythbuster number two, they make a ton of money on gas. No, actually, 125,000 of those stations are actually convenience stores, too. That's where they make their money. Listen. The profit margin on gasoline is very, very small, two, three, four cents per gallon. Uh, that's why you see most gas gasoline stations now have convenience stores. They're probably making more in a cup of coffee they sold you than on the gasoline. Mythbuster number three, Maria, take a look at this number. Most of the stations in this country, 60% are one owner stations. They don't have a big number of those. And they say they're not gouging. They're just reflecting the price of gas they're getting from the refiners. Take a listen. There is no gouging. It does not matter how much they put the price on the pump. If a customer could come in and look at the price and say, wow, that's too high. Why are they charging so much? And they can drive out and buy it somewhere else. That is not gouging. Maria, as you know, the whole system, the oil companies, the gases, that's all a very complicated system. It doesn't really translate to a tweet. Not simple. Yeah. Unbelievable. Unfortunately, Joe Biden should know that oil prices have come off of the highs, but gasoline has not. Jeff, thanks very much. Jeff Flock in Philadelphia this morning.